All right, everybody, what's up? I'm Ink, Inky from Funkin' Mess Collections. This is gonna be a new type of video. Uh, you're gonna see my face because I am an entertaining guy and you just have to see me. So I'm here at my storage shed. Um, I'm making this video because when I was a kid, I heard stories about this infamous room at my grandparents' house that was full of all this like amazing collectibles and stuff like that like all I hear is Norman Rockwell and there's collectible plates in there and all kinds of figurines and so a couple months ago uh, I got a, a chance to go and and buy all the stuff that was in that room because I was curious so I went and bought all the stuff in the room cleaned it out and brought it back home with me and it was a lot of stuff uh, it took me like three days to go through everything and load it up I had to get a storage shed for a month and it was like two trips to bring it back from Philadelphia all the way up to where I live now and it was just a hassle cost a lot of money um, but now I have it and I'm gonna show you and I'm just gonna see if I can make some money right now I just come up here to pull a few things out to do a few tests on like eBay and a few other sites just to see how they sell and what I can get for them because I have no idea I mean this is old Avon stuff, some collectible plates, uh, figurines, uh, stuff I have nothing, no clue what to do with or how much anything's worth. So it's going to take a lot of research to do this. I already sold the first load, load of stuff. Uh, I went up to a collectibles place at a mall near me and, and sold it to him. Um, he was he was pretty fair about the prices and stuff, um, but I wanted to see if I could sell this stuff myself and how much I can make from it or like get my money back at least. But here we go. Uh, so let's go to my storage shed. Alright, so here's the stuff. Um, this box here is full of all Avon stuff. It probably weighs about 60 pounds. Uh, these three uh, suitcases there are full of Avon stuff. This is like collectible plates and stuff like that. Um, all kinds of stuff. But I'm gonna go through some of this and uh, see like that all, that all came to. That's all stuff from my grandparents' collection. Uh, yeah, it's dirty. I'm gonna have to clean it. I cleaned it up, but that's like some stuff that I guarantee a lot of this isn't worth a lot of money, but I don't know if I could sell a couple bucks here and there. It'll sell. This place is a mess. Because I just kind of came and dumped it all off. Uh, you got in there some more stuff. Uh, here's a whole box. Uh, I really like to put full plates. Uh, there's an old PlayStation. I'll be selling a lot of this stuff. If anybody's interested. But, uh, so that's this little video. Um, I'm gonna make another video after I pull some stuff out here again. Um, I just got out this suitcase. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what was in it. Uh, anybody who's not used to dealing with, like, uh, antiques and, and old stuff like this, uh, roll a thumb get rubber gloves uh, a lot of this stuff has been sitting around for a while and has a lot of old dust and dirt and uh, you probably don't want to be touching it and don't want to be uh, rubbing it on your body and stuff like that so I wear gloves and a mask too it depends but like this is the stuff that's in here like, I don't know a lot of what this stuff is anybody knows it's, if it's all perfume, I can smell it. Uh, like, I have no idea. A candle. It's like, like holiday gift for you. I don't know if I'm going to pull anything out of this one. Um, I'm just looking for cool stuff. Might be in some of the other suitcases. I have three of them. I'll pull out. There's a lot of steins and stuff like that. I'll pull some stuff out. I just want to show you, you know, how these suitcases were when I got them. But uh, yeah, that's this video. I'll see you guys later. All right. 
So I'm back at my house. I have these. These are called decanters from Avon. Uh, these are things I pulled out of my storage shed. Uh, this is the box. It's, uh, these are in pristine condition. All the boxes are in pristine condition. Uh, they're cool things, but um, like not super valuable. But they are cool looking. I'm going to show you a few. Um, this one's, here's how I got this one. It's a Jaguar car uh, bottle. If I can get it out of the box. Jesus. Alright. So, this is what this looks like. See a fluid in there. That's that's the cologne. These are cologne bottles. Uh, they're all cool looking. Um, so I'm gonna sell them. I got a ton of them. Um, I'm gonna have to like lot them up. Um, I got two of these. These are really cool. This is the Colt Colt Revolver. Is what this one is. 1851 wild country aftershave so it's aftershave but the aftershave is in here and then to get it out it's tough oh man that's the the lid this part's just plastic but it, it looks cool um, here's another car i think this is a stingray corvette it's green fluid in there. Uh, these ones, they got ones that look like pipes. Uh, this is like ceramic. This is plastic. And again, the uh, liquid's in here. Um, this one is the Cord 37. I mean, look how it's in great condition. Stickers on the bottom. All th This matters too. If the sticker's legible and like in good condition, it brings the value up on these. Um, here's a grain helm bus. That's pretty cool. Uh, this plastic, the bottle is, you know, it's pretty. And then that is where. Um, here's a big rig truck. That was the one box I showed you. Clones in here. This is like powder. Uh, you know, wild country talc is talc powder. And then, of course, yeah, uh, aftershave. Now, that's a few of them. This is one that I'm keeping. I found this. This is, I love this one. Uh, this is cool. It didn't have a box. Um, but this one, I'm, I'm keeping. I'm going to put it in all my videos. This is going to be my new favorite thing. And it, it still has the stuff in it. This is... Where you take the lid off. It's completely full, but this is, I love this one. My daughter likes it too. I, I, I had my daughter here and I was explaining this stuff to her. Uh, she was interested in it. She thought they were all cool. Um, but that's just a few of them. It's kind of, um, I mean, the collecting community, that I, I mean, the ones I'm involved with are all card collecting. Uh, but there's more than collecting than just that. I know some... A lot of people collect horror stuff, uh, celebrity autographs, uh, WWE uh, memorabilia. I have some WWE belts that I bought. Uh, I'll be showing you guys uh, for the wrestling fans out there because I'm a huge wrestling fan. Um, yeah, I collect rest WWE stuff, wrestling memorabilia, cards, um, all kinds of stuff. But this is the video. This is I just wanted to show you guys a few few of these. Um, if you like them, you know, comment and I'll look for them on, uh, I guess eBay, I'll put these on. A few of them on eBay. Uh, if you like them, contact me. Um, we can, you know, set something up where we don't have to go through eBay. But that's my video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe, tell your friends, and thanks, guys.